Welcome back to the Ghostski. I am Gray, and today we have another Finnish First Division match. What aren't they Finnish First Division matches, you ask? Never, damn it. But anyway, we get to take on PK35 at home again. This is the third and final meeting of the season. Um, before I hit that little continue button, I got a couple things to talk about. If you've been watching the channel, you notice we haven't put up a whole lot of videos lately. Um, and Pokemon hasn't started, the next one hasn't started yet. And we've kind of semi stopped putting up uh, some Lotro. Um, that's what it was called. I couldn't fucking remember what it was called. Um, that's, we haven't stopped doing those or anything. Um, most of the reason is the girlfriend, Carrie, Carrot, whatever you want to call her, whatever you feel like calling her. It doesn't really matter to me. Anyway, <laughs> that sounds bad, doesn't it? Anyway, point is, she's been working a lot of overtime lately, so we haven't had time to record or get any of the graphics and stuff done because she does all those and all that good shit for me. So I've been kind of supplementing with this, which is fine, actually. This, this works out real well. And um, so therefore, I get to you know kind of kind of get into this, but... um. Uh, fuck, where was I? Dog decided to come over here and get all up in my shit and I had to fucking push her away. Anyway, um, now she's distracted me. I don't know what I was saying. Anyhow, um, we are gonna go ahead and just, like, yeah, f fill with this stuff for now. Um, I, I haven't really been recording and, and posting a whole lot because, um, I haven't been really feeling all that great lately. And, um... It was spring break, so I was kind of, like, not really motivated to do much of anything, quite honestly. But anyway, here we are, and we're going to get into this. Um, yeah, oh, in between the last match and this one, um, the club did extend another offer to us to maintain and to stay at the club. I took it, so that puts us here under contract. Not that we couldn't just quit anyway, but that puts us here under contract until next November on the game. Um, and we got about three months on all the contracts that are expiring. That's also a little heads up, you know, just to let you know, kind of give you some idea where we're at time wise. So really, you know, really don't notice, you know, I don't say anything much about the dates or anything like that. Um, but you do see down here, we've only had six matches left to go. Um, and in the last team meeting, the coaches informed me that we only need 13, which is right. You know, we only need 13 more points to secure and guarantee that we win the division so um what i'm looking at is wins at pk35 fc jazz jjk and yippo and i think you know i think whatever whatever points we get out of hawk and ktp is fine um that's just that's just my um how i feel about it i guess I mean that's really I really don't have anything else to 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 say about that. But anyhow, um we are pretty much at full strength here. As you see we have all these guys one yellow card away. One yellow card away from suspension. Which could be pretty bad going into the FZ Haka game. But like I said, we've got a six point lead at the top, so we've got some Wiggle room, so to speak. It's kind of a fun phrase to say. Wiggle room, rah, 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 rah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. I already did save a minute ago, but... Um... Oh, uh, funny, fun note. A fun note, funny note. Funny note, fun thing to talk about. Um... On my Galway file. My, my main career, whatever you want to call it. The one I always play on my own. Um... Ooh... We want to do, we want to do this one. I want to, you know, I want to go out there and get revenge. Let's see if this was, this never works for me, by the way. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. I think this is pretty loud, actually. That's not too loud. My TV's not too loud. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, uh, oh yeah, back, back to the Galway thing. Um, one thing that is kind of cool about this game, they do add some really cool shit. Um, like the game kind of does react to you like whatever you are putting out there it does challenge you in a way and teams try to counter you um you'll you'll see that and that's why i've always said that it's 
ideally you want to kind of, you know, kind of, you know, uh, oh, just kind of switch, rotate through formations, you know, kind of come up with new shit every few years. Um, I mean, you know, it, 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 it is a good idea to do so. So what I, you know, the reason I say that is because on my, on my Galway career, um, other teams are starting to imitate us now. So you're starting to see formations that look a lot like the formations that we're using. So probably in about, probably in about two, three seasons, you'll probably start seeing that. Probably towards like the end of the second season. You know, you'll start seeing some of the clubs. Maybe not as soon since we're going to be going up as uh, 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 well. I, I shouldn't say that. I'm, I'm talking as if I already know that we're going to go up to a new division, to the next division. But as as we progress, you know, if we if we go up to that and make that jump up to that next division, I don't know if that'll be, you know, if if they'll continue on that same kind of timeline and still start imitating and countering us you know about two three years i would suspect that there's hurrah getting the fucking yellow and is now um suspended for the next game that's fucking great i love that shit uh, this is gonna be one this is gonna be one of those games i can tell you that right now just looking at the foul count this is gonna be one of those fucking games where they they get the call every fucking call we're probably going to get a ton of cards, especially since I caved in that little kick in the ass, that little, you know, go out there and get revenge against them. But anyhow, like I said, you may not see them start countering us next season, but probably, probably still, I would still say probably two, three seasons from now. From now, you know, we'll start seeing our formation and in, in our playing style would be kind of imitated by the other teams. It's kind of cute when they do that, honestly. I, I like it. That, that's one of the things that they do a pretty good job of. You know, I don't, I don't you know, and that's something too, I've never, I've never seen anyone really talk about that. I mean, do people just use really generic formations that you always see and, and thus, you don't really, um, yeah, we got a penalty kick, wonderful. I don't know if people just use like that, that four, two, three, two, for a four, no, 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 it's too many numbers. <laughs> that four, two, three, one, that um, PK thirty five is rolling out. I, I don't know if people just use a lot of stuff like that. So a lot of really generic four, four twos, really common stuff. So that you kind of see, you kind of see more of that around. You know, just four, three, threes. You know, I don't know if people just use all those. So therefore, they don't. You know, when they see other teams playing that formation, it doesn't click. But I, I, I noticed that way back in. And when I played FM12, I mean, that team, that they kind of started countering you, although it took a lot longer than it does in this game. You know, they kind of, they kind of changed that, get 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 into your, you know, they, they react to your playing style and shit like that a little, a little quicker in this, this iteration of the game. Oh, Jesus. Is, oof. Thank you, Mirella. But anyhow, um, I don't know, that about covers everything I need to talk about. Um, let's see here. I don't, I don't think there's anything else. But anyhow, um, hmm. Maybe I've already beaten the whole, like, our whole transfer policy and shit like that to death. I know I don't need to talk about that anymore. You're probably tired of hearing me talk about that shit. Uh, all the fucking plans, which is funny because it's all that. That's all shit that you're not gonna see because I'm not gonna sit here and like record me fucking scouting because that's boring as hell. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. That's the sort of shit that'll take like six to eight hours, you know, on a weekend or some shit. And and uh, yeah, and that even then you may not really get anywhere. That's the one thing that kind of sucks about it. Is there's no real guarantee that you'll find anyone or anything, you know worthwhile, worth your time out there in the transfer market. One thing that's always frustrating for me is when you can find players that there's always like that one thing, that one tiny, 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 tiny little thing like a work permit or you literally have like just you need like 10 more freaking euros to sign him and you don't have it. Shit like that. Ugh. I've had so many, so many transfers like that. So many. 
those those are the things like those more so than anything are the ones that make me kind of you know want to cheat not that i do i really don't i don't add you know money or anything like that into my game i'm sure people do and you do have a um you do have the ability to do that and all that sort of shit is pretty easy to to, to mess around with and Oh, Jesus, I did not think Haral. The way Haral turned and ran at that, I did not think he was going to get to that. Hey, look, he's a drone home. Oh, jeez. It's going to be nice when we get when we get a couple good wingers. Like I said, I think I'm going to try more guys like Stasilla. I, I really think I'm going to try and go that route because, like I said, I mean, I've had, I've had pretty decent success with an attacking winger like that. You know, like I said, I don't feel like you really lose too much defensively. I mean, against the bigger clubs, obviously, you know, the Champions League clubs, you're, you're going to suffer a little bit. Oh, my God. But, you know, I think in the, the d domestic competition, I don't think it's really, really that detrimental. Especially when they're, you know, coming in and scoring goals. Like I said, I got one guy on the left wing. I mean, he's he his stat distribution, his attribute distribution. I guess I said this before. It's just it's not what you want in an attacking wing back. It, it by no means is. But that fucker just always. I mean, he's one of my most my most. Uh, I guess he's probably one of my best attackers. I'm gonna say most exciting attacker. But I mean, he's just like his movement is just so good so good all the time down here i mean it's just it's just wonderful i mean he's always he's always in a good spot defensively he's always surging forward he's always you know on the end of he, he also finds a lot of like rebound goals too that's something that's nice he gets in the right place at the right right time so often it's it's really nice but anyhow you know those are, like, as i said before those are signs of things to come up and, ah, Jesus. I thought he was going to get a card for that, too. Not this time. You're not going to be a dick this time, ref? You son of a bitch. But anyhow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. I thought our keeper was going to botch the hell out of it. Look at that! JJK with the lead over FC Hawk. I was praying like hell they would lose the KTP, too. During the week. Look at all that space that still has to run down. Jesus. He takes a player on, brings another defender, and you almost, almost. And that is one thing I think I'm gonna try and do a little bit more. Um, and I think one thing that I'm gonna try to do a little bit better job of is have a, um, is is have a more aerial, uh, a more aerial team. You know, I have a few more players that are better in the air. Um, it's not really something that I like a whole lot, personally. But, um... Mm, 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 decisions, decisions. Huh. Things are going well or don't get complacent? I think we go, ah... All right, that's good enough. We just got our goalkeeper who can't seem to figure out how to handle any pressure. I'm sure we'll rack up like several more cards here. Now that I've said that, plus they're a little edgy. Um, since you know the, I gave that the opening team talk to you know kind of go after him and you know get revenge for getting your ass kicked last time. Oh, nice header, nice header, and terrible first touch. Terrible first touch. I'd rather him just, uh, you know, just one time that, one time that shot. That's all I want. Because you, know, you one time that shot, and in all honesty, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, it's even like even if you miss it, like you go over the net entirely. I'd rather that happen. Than, I mean, because then at least you get like you know half a chance, as opposed to the first touch where you don't even get a chance to strike the ball at net. We're establishing a little bit more, a little bit more um, possession here too. But I mean, if things go well, and Haka, who is now down two goals, this is why I like having this little thing down here. This is nice to have. 
especially in these situations late in the season where you know you, you need to know where the points are being scored in KTP too so even if we were to lose this game not that we want to but even if we were to lose you know totally fuck this up in the next you know 30 minutes or so I think we'd be all right nice Came up and dealt with. I, I do like our shots right now. I mean, I, I think through the first 60 minutes, the first hour, we've we've allowed one shot, and it wasn't even on goal. Thank you, Rice. And I didn't make a fucking fuss of that. Just we're getting pretty good movement out of the players today. I mean, there we go. Oh my God! Just fucking squeeze in there. Damn it. And that's one thing that's kind of weird. Depth is kind of weird right around the goalkeeper sometimes. It's kind of hard. At least it's for me. It's kind of hard. To, my depth perception gets a little off when the ball rolls around in there like that. Because a couple times, to me, it kind of looked like it was in. I mean, that's probably not the best thing to to admit. But it's the truth. <laughs> you know what I am going to do, though? I am going to take Harala off and Osei because they're not playing very well right now. Instead of a null in the middle of the park, though, we're going to move him up front and then move uh, um, Oyala to the middle of the park because he's a little bit better. Than that. Well, he hasn't played terrible today. Of course, Hinkala, yeah, yeah, you know, it is, it is what it is. I think I've mentioned that before. Uh, the 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 match ratings I don't really uh, care for sometimes because there's been sometimes, you know, I I kind of uh, felt like a player was really good and and ooh, and the um you know I'm I'm getting scared. Ground home's frightening me here. I think I'm gonna pull him off here. I think he's gonna be a third and final sh final shot final change. I like to try. I like to try and leave one, because I know as soon as I do this, it's gonna fuck me. But yeah, it is what it is. I usually try and leave that one till a little bit later. But you know that that foul right there kind of scared me. I thought Granholm was gonna get a second yellow right there and just get sent off. So as of right now, we have no more players with yellows. They've got four. If you just if you just count up the yellow cards, so that's that's good. Yeah, we're we're okay with the way we've eased up. The fouls have been a little bit much. Oof. Oh, Hananen, this is all you, buddy. And you can't seem to. There we go. Good God. Had to dig that from like two feet behind him, but hey, it's a goal. And this will really, this will really go far. Look at JJK. Look at that. That's awesome. KTP now has reversed the result over there against the Eels, but it probably shouldn't matter since they lost that midweek to um to FC Haka. That would probably put us uh, nine points clear if I remember right. That's that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Pretty happy with that. Oof. I don't know how he wasn't offside, though. So. It looked like Owusu was down here when that pass get, got sent across there. And to come back across like that, he's clearly offside. But now we have now we have a two goal lead to squander instead of just one. So, oh, good help defense there. Oh, just get rid of it, you dummy. You're our, you're our senior player who is supposed to be the best mental player in the game. In other words, you're supposed to just know what to do in that situation. Now look at the numbers we got back there. Good look at that. I mean we outnumber them two to one back here. And of course they're still probably gonna score a goal. <laughs> of course, now that I say that Hinkula and his bad match rating is gonna fuck shit up for us. But what like I said sometimes you gotta like that's that's the worst thing, like Trusting, trusting the player with the card or the player who's underperforming right now. That's always, that's always the thing that I get hung up on. It's like you have a player that has a terrible match rating right now, and you want to get him off because obviously he's not effective and not, not playing well. But at the same time, you got a player with a card. You know, do you trust him? I think it depends. I don't know. It, for me, it depends a lot on 
you know, whether or not you can trust the team. Oh, whether or not you can trust your team or anyone on your team with a card in a in a, in a match like this. And I clearly don't. Nice, nice. That should have gone in. That should have gone in. He deserved that shit. Nice little dink inside and put it right on the post. You can't complain with the effort from the boys today. Pretty happy. Just puts me in a good mood. Puts me in a good mood because it's it's pretty late right now. Usually I record early in the morning, well, not early, early in the morning, but you know, before noon. Usually I record on my football manager and stuff like that around then, but. Since I've kind of not been feeling all that great this last week and kind of been lazy as hell. It's a combination of both. You know, it's now well past midnight and I'm um, probably got a couple more matches after this I'm going to record and get caught up on a couple of days. Because I'm not going to be able to record the next two days after this. And today I'm not going to be able to get anything up because it's so late. I think I'm going to record and then just go straight to fucking bed. But, you know, it is, it is, as I've said before, it is what it is. And, uh, but yeah, I was, I was kind of afraid too. I was like, man, I'm gonna get, get, I'm gonna get stuck in here, play a match, get pissed off as we lose or some dumb shit when we shouldn't. But results have gone pretty well. And, um, I mean, we walked a little bit of a fine line today with the team talks. I mean, that was, that was a real close call. I mean, that was one of those ones that, like, you know, asking them to get revenge. As you saw early, we picked up two early yellows, you know, and you go out there and ask them to get revenge. Usually that doesn't go very well. Usually your players go out there, and as we saw, I mean, we, we, you know, we, we um, get ourselves in foul trouble. Fortunately for us, we got the first goal and relatively early, which then kind of put PK35 on the back foot. So they've been chasing the game the whole rest of the, get, the, rest of the way, and the referee being the referee, has given away a lot of yellows to them. Which is okay. It's kind of nice to see that once in a while. And, you know, and we've created, ooh, we've created a lot of pretty good chances. I mean, you look over there, yeah, four clear-cut chances. And I like this. This defensive effort right here, this is what I like. I mean, I'm really happy with that. You know, one shot, one off target, and that's it. No clear-cut chances. Slight edge in possession, but you know the fouls are now have now evened out throughout the course of the game. But that's also due to us having some more of the possession and controlling a little bit more of the game. And you know once they kind of get started fouling, that's one of those things that kind of you know snowballs and, and gets pretty bad. Fortunately for us, that that's the way it worked out today. And and um, ooh. Oh, and there might be their second yellow. Nope, you're just going to get the foul. All right, well, Nermela's just going to pound this into the air and miss. Don't know much that's going to happen. But, you know, the results went our way today elsewhere. So that um, that that is basically a six-point swing today. It was going to be a six-point swing next time. So now, even if we lose against FC Haka, I mean, we're, we're in good... We're in good shape. You know, that would then put us at, you know, uh, you know, still at a six-point lead. And you know, we'd still essentially be exactly where we started today. But, you know, we'd, we'd still be fine. And I wouldn't be, I'd be upset, but I wouldn't be. Look at that. Stasilo, well behind the play. Ah, uh, wayward pass there. A little... A little wayward, but yeah, like I said, I'm I'm very satisfied with our defensive effort today. We just need this, we just need this final whistle to blow so we can get out of here. That's all we want. Get out of here with the clean sheet. That's all we. Oh. Let's get out of here with the clean sheet. That's all I want now. Ah, look at those numbers. They're all back here. All oh, rising and why'd you foul them, you big dumbass? Now they're gonna fucking get a cheap goal. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Oh. Be able to get a cheap goal here after the corner. Now basically though, all we need to do is clear it. And just clear it. Oh, fuck. I thought that was in. And there you go. Two nil. I'm happy with that.
I mean, how can you not be? That's that's about where we want to be. I'm gonna say that every time too. That's pretty much where I want to be. You know, two to three goals, somewhere around in there. One more than one more than one, and we're good. You know, ah, <sighs> good stuff. Uh, that makes me that makes me pretty happy. Yep, we have a nine point. I don't know if you saw there. We have a nine point spread at the top now between us and I'm gonna say I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure FC Haka still. Yeah, it was FC Haka. Okay, but anyhow, that does it for this episode. You made it this far on YouTube. You know what to do: like, subscribe, and comment, and all that good stuff. I'll see you next time, or something.